scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by the pride of Tennessee, Miss Jackie Moore, from Leapersport, Tennessee, Cowboy June Storm. For months, we have heard the story of the war machine rhino. The fact that alcoholism, the disease, has been so prevalent, Doc, within his family. Everyone here in TNA, with the exception of this man, the Tennessee Cowboy Jane Storm, and of course, the pride of Tennessee, Miss Jackie Moore, has had that certain level of compassion for Rhino. Anything within our power to try and help it. But on the other side, it's Jane Storm, it's Jackie Moore, doing everything within their power to mock him. The disrespect the Cowboy Jane Storm has shown is just as mind-boggling when you realize the guy is fighting a disease as serious as alcoholism that just throw in his face. Unbelievable. And his opponent from Detroit, Michigan, the War Machine, Bruno! Here comes the War Machine. You know that he is intent on payback. And as you can see, charging directly through the ring and meets the Tennessee Cowboys. Storm up on the end of the What an exchange this is. Big right hand by Rhino. Going to take him and drive him right back into the sixth side. Obviously, Rhino, uh-oh, with Ms. Jackie Moore now the referee going to try and separate those two. Rhino pulling out all the stops because of the humiliation that Storm has put him through in recent months. I'm going to tell you it all. Look at, look at Storm hiding oh, the crowd. He's trying. He knows. He knows he's got a rhino that is absolutely intent on breaking him in half. Intent on taking out his pain. Frustration is we've got security now coming in to try to keep the curve of the curve because they know when I'm going to give the Anton credit, we can't stop this right now. You know they're just, this is what rhino is going to be about right now. Well, a couple of points. The opening bell has not sounded yet. And Jim Cornette representing TNA management made it very clear to both of us on earlier today that he directed the official, he directed the referee here to show some leeway because of this personal animosity between these two. Cornet said, I am sick of this situation between Storm and Rhino. Let's see a winner tonight at No Surrender. Well, everybody's behind the war machine. Everybody has had troubles in their lives. Demons that you have to fight. And this has been Rhino's, and the fact that James Storm is just so irreverent about it, I think it's one of those situations where James Storm man, nice counter by Storm, and they'll get things going your way, and I really have to take a tumble back and step like that, Mike. Well, the war machine down just loves to play off the emotion of the crowd. Storm, look at him, oh, man, right coming, and then just drove him back for a fight out of the wall. Wow, he did, man, I'm telling you, he was waiting for it, and just used that strength, that power. He's like a locomotive, and just slammed him into that wall, and you can see James Storm in utter pain. Be careful what you wish for, James Storm, because you've got a war machine on your tail right now. Now, this is actually the battle before the battle. No opening bell yet. I love this leeway that the official referee, Andrew Thomas, is giving both Rhino and Storm in an attempt, as Cornette put it, See a winner. Let's get this thing settled once and for all. Well, Andrew Thomas now is trying to get him got him back to the ring. He feels he's let him blow off a little steam now. He's trying to get it inside. And, oh, man. The war machine just, anything he can get his hands on, he's going to use, Mike. Anything. Yeah, anything not nailed down. Going to take score now. Take him around the ring and drive him face first into the apron. Oh, the Tennessee Cowboy has been rocked here by the war machine. Taking him to every part of the impact zone, Don. Oh, look at this. He doesn't even kill. And we're, and you can see right there, he's trying to get him up the Rhino. Oh, what a counter by James Storm as he's able to suplex him onto that ramp. Desperation move by the Tennessee Cowboy, but boy, it pays off as the momentum of this matchup which was totally in favor of Rhino, has now switched to Storm's side. Well, he needed some kind of a break because Rhino was just, he had one speed, and that was full speed ahead. And he was using it, but sometimes when you do that, no matter how intent you are, sometimes you can burn yourself out with that adrenaline. Just kind of catches up to you, but look at Rhino. He's just using it to his advantage, Mike, and just countering everything and just... It just goes to show you what a, how powerful a sober war machine is. 
crowd just loves him. He feeds off of him. Rhino again, just relentless. As you can see, Andrew Thomas trying to get him to get the action back into the ring. Rhino now does it, and here we finally get the bell and we get things started. And there is, as you mentioned, the opening bell to this matchup. I think Storm and Rhino probably spent the better part of three or four minutes in this war all over the building here at the Impact Zone in Orlando, Florida. Face first into the top turn by Mogo Storm. And Rhino follows up the advantage. Well placed boot to the midsection, and then that series of big right hands to the side of the head. Oh, he's just going right at it. I mean, this, this is about revenge. This is about getting your pride back. This is about getting back on your two feet and letting the world know that you're going to fight this problem. And James Storm, man, he has just, oh, got his boot up just in time. But just look at the belly to belly of Rhino just grabs him and swings him. Storm down. Rhino measures. I think he was going to go for the floor, but then the pride of Tennessee, Miss Jackie Moore, from behind, grabs the head of Rhino. And look how quickly she just dropped down to avoid it. I'll tell you what, that look in Rhino's eyes, though, they're almost, they were just like a look like I dared to try him, but that was enough for James Storm to be able to come in there and counter Rhino. Both knees directed to the back of Rhino. Enables Storm now to take control of this match. Rhino down. Jackie Moore outside. So happy the Chief has enabled her man, James Storm, to be in the driver's seat, at least at this point. Well, that's what she does so well. She's such a, a veteran and a professional. She knows how to keep herself, you know, away from the vision of the referee. Knows how to take that shot. Knows that she puts herself at risk in doing so, but she can do it just long well enough to give Storm that, that extra second that he needs to get his composure. Man, it's worked to perfection right here. Storm unleashes the power. The mid-ring clothesline drops the war machine, and all of a sudden, look how cocky and confident the cowboy is. Cover, two count only from referee Thomas. Well, a little nonchalant right there. With, I, I think he realized he didn't quite have enough to put Rhino down, but I'll tell you what, with, with the, the middle state of Rhino right now, you have got to take advantage of a situation, you can't hesitate for a minute because I'm going to tell you something. As you see Jackie Moore turns from on, the war machine's got one thing in mind, and that's breaking this guy in half. Nice knee, nice knee in the face right there by James Storm. You're right, perfectly placed. Plucky oncoming, the charging Rhino, and dropped him on his back. Storm to the corner. And of course, you know he's going to play to the crowd. Oh, he's deep, he, you know, as, as Rhino has that chemistry with the crowd in such a positive sense, James Storm feeds off that crowd in the negative. He, those boos to him are cheers, you know what I mean? He loves it. He loves getting under their skin just like he loves getting under Rhino. Boot to the head, couple of right hands as well. Rhino back up to his feet, and the snap mayor takes him over immediately, and then Storm again. Gonna try and get right in the face of Rhino at this point. Referee Thomas gonna try and break it. I guess it could be a chokehold at this point. Trying to get a good look. You can see Andrew Thomas, he's looking intently, and, and Rhino, he, he, he's got that look of determination, but he's also losing his air. You can see it, you can see pain now setting in, but Storm just... Let's go on it, then just nails him in the back and knocks the air out even more. A referee making sure that that wasn't a chokehold, but it was awfully close. You're right, wearing Rhino down and taking away his air, taking away that oxygen supply and keeping him grounded. Well, that's what happens, I mentioned earlier, when you come out so full of adrenaline and you have just one thing in mind and that's more full steam, it's hard to do and storm by being able to somehow outlast him was able to get Rhino to tire down a little bit, and that, that goes from Storm to Stabler. You can see Rhino fighting back with everything he's got. Series of shots, then off the ropes. Rhino connects, extends the arm with the clothesline. The back elbow takes down Storm again. He charges in, and he's power slammed down. Two. Just got it up there. Just got the shoulder. Rhino, though, is amazing. Even when it looks like James Storm's getting control of the match, Rhino's able to dig down and then just find that anchor that fuels him and drives him. But wow, they're going to straight the storm right there. He just turned him around. Oh, so close to the band. Oh, you're right. You don't often see the near 300 pounder, 280 plus war machine Rhino taken down and overpowered like Storm just did. 
But also keep in mind, this relentless offense from Storm has certainly weakened Rhino, at least to this point. Let's see if now Rhino can dig down deep and mount that comeback. That could be step one. Nice. Cut him in the corner, belly to belly, drops him down in mid-range. Oh, it was. It was a great shoulder block and knocked the air out of Storm and then just used it. Now look at it. He's setting up. He wants to just split him right here with this Gore. And look at this. He hit the Gore. 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 Ready for this. One, two. face of the war machine mirrors your exact comment. I don't know what happened. Maybe he didn't hit it completely full on. It is very rare in this world that anybody gets a shoulder up from the war. And you can see right up. I think that may be one of those things where he's flipping, he's grabbing tear now. I hate to do it, but maybe we have to give Storm some credit yes. too for digging down deep and being able to power out after the gore, the move that has taken out and defeated so many competitors through the years. And look at the body language of Andrew Thomas. He does not want to disqualify Rhino here. Could this be the Rhino driver? Oh, he's, but Rhino, I think, now just wants to hurt him. And you can see Andrew Thomas, he's debating on what to do. He's trying to get him to stop. Oh, man, if he drives that head into those chairs, holy cow, he can kill him. Storm tries to fight him off, puts the shots to the rib cage. Now, he's biting the nose of Rhino. Big right hand from Storm. That one momentarily rocks Rhino, and now the Cowboy goes back up top. I'll tell you what, you've got to give him... Oh, man! And he brought the head of Rhino! He is! He's got it! Oh, no. my God, Rhino! A driven man! I can't shut her off. Maybe equally as impressive right there as King uh, you're right, because he had, he came off of those ropes and hit those chairs hard. I thought he was going to go for the Rhino driver, and I think that's what Rhino had in his mind. Smart move by Storm, however. Perfect counter in your right, took him down. And think of all the neck problems gone that Rhino has had. Think of all the concussions. Oh, yes. Smart move on the part of Storm to try and weak in the head. Well, I think it's one of those things where I think Rhino had a moment of hesitation. I don't know what he's going through his mind. James Storm sensed it. And when James Storm got up to the ropes and got the positioning, uh, he was able to bring Rhino down. Look at Rhino. He may have gotten the shoulder up, but he sure hasn't gotten his body up. He's still laying on that mat. Storm brings the table into play. Gonna position it as Rhino gets back up to a knee. He's immediately met by a Storm overhand right and then another series of shots, but he missed the third one. Look at this. Rhino's got him up on his shoulders. Fall away slam. Oh, that's just what Rhino needed. He's going to go for a quick pin. James Storm able to get that left shoulder up, and he's been amazing with some of the shots he's taken from the war machine. And you can see both these guys now wearing down. Look at him. Look at that table, though, Mike. He's eyeing that table. Looks like he has a different plan than the Cowboy. Going to stack it up in the corner. Table set into place. You can see the pride of Tennessee, Ms. Jackie Moore, communicating from outside with Storm. Jawbreaker by Storm stops the momentum of the war machine. He's so good at playing possum. He's so good at playing her. Where people, oh, what an elbow. What an elbow by Rhino just with four force. Just rock Storm, but look at Storm rocking with a right. Rhino's up in no man's land here, Don. Pushed up on top. Storm going to try and follow up, and one would think that he's going to try and suplex or superplex the War Machine back in, and that's exactly what he does. Man, Jake Storm showing a wide array of, of different moves and not afraid to try them on Rhino, and I mean, that's impressive. I don't care how you look at it. You can hate him for being such a way man. Did two, he have it? No! I think the impact, no. the impact of that superplex affected both men. Certainly it did Rhino. I think it did Storm as well, and he took that momentary lapse before going for the pin, and that cost him. I was going to say, he may be a cocky SOB, but my gosh, he's got no quit in him. And Rhino, I think, has to respect a little bit of that. Goes for the super kick, but he misses. Oh, Gore! Gore! Gore right through the table! He's not getting Cut up from right this! Pin! Two! Yeah! Gone. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the War Machine, Rhino! That's the way that you gain payback. That's the way that you gain revenge for the months of
of humiliation. Able to finally hit that guard the way he wanted, just right into the table, and Ryo has got to feel some sort of redemption. And look at this, he goes underneath the, the ring and grabs that kick. Remember the last time, I hope he's not gonna celebrate here with a drink, Mike. That would be the wrong thing. And look at him looking over the body of Jake Storm. Oh, wait a minute, he's getting ready to stick. Oh, oh where my the God. Heck? What? Putting it under. And right where the sun don't shine. And now look at Jackie coming over to, to come to the aid of Jake Storm. Come on, come on. Grabbing right on by the hair. What is she thinking here? Oh, I don't know. You've got to wonder what on earth she could possibly be thinking as Rhino just grabs her and slings her into the middle of the ring. Tosses her in. Uh-oh. Rhino sets up. Jackie, you'd be better off staying down. Oh, she's she's up. Oh, my she's God. down. He just scored her. Just scored her. Oh, my God. This the crowd go crazy. Redemption. Vengeance is yours. The War Machine gains it tonight at no surrender. What an impressive victory that certainly was.